Welcome to all the viewers. Today we are going to discuss about a fully funded fellowship called Hubbard H. Humphrey Fellowship Competition 2022 which is offered by Fulbright and it is a great opportunity for professional development in the USA. So let us first have a look at the introduction of this fellowship. This fellowship is initiated by USCFP to facilitate the bilateral relationship between USA and Pakistan. It is specially designed for the mid-career persons with 5 to 15 years of relevant experience. And this program will be a 10 to 12 months of graduate level non-degree academic coursework as well as an opportunity to work in the United States in the relevant field. So um, the awardees of this fellowship are supposed to discuss their experiences in Pakistan with their colleagues in the US as well as on their return they are assumed to occupy leadership positions in their fields and must be committed to return and serve Pakistan. So what are the benefits of uh, this fellowship? The grant funds tuition, airfare, living stipend and health insurance. USCFP also assists with the visa process. So the whole process is funded by the USCFP in this particular fellowship. Eligibility. Successful applicants must be Pakistani citizens residing and working in Pakistan with a minimum of five years of progressively responsible professional work experience coupled with 16 years of formal education that is uh, BSc or MSc if you have done two years programs and BS honors if you have done an honors program applicants must possess a high level of fluency in spoken and written English although you do not need to provide a TOEFL proof um, at the time of application once you are selected then you can uh, appear for the TOEFL exam. Applications will not be accepted from university teachers or researchers with no management experience or similar responsibilities. So they are actually looking for the people who are performing some kind of uh, social work or so uh, social initiatives uh, that are benefiting the masses actually. So those who attended graduate school in the United States in the past seven years are not eligible to apply or have had long-term U.S. experience within the past five years. Also ineligible are persons with a dual U.S.-Pakistan nationality or have a spouse, fiancé, parent or child over the age of 18 who is a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. Employees of the Fulbright organization are also ineligible the U.S. Department of State or USAID or their spouse, children, fiancés, siblings, dependents and parents are also ineligible. So all these people are actually ineligible to apply for this uh, particular fellowship. Rest of the people who belong to these areas that I'm going to mention can apply for this fellowship. Applications are invited in the following fields, human and institutional capacity. Uh, in this particular area, we can uh, deal various fields like economic development, finance and banking, public policy, technology policy and management, human resource management. So all the degrees that lie in this domain like MBA or uh, banking or finance related all the degrees, they all are applicable to uh, apply for this fellowship. Rights and freedom. Communications and journalism uh, comes under this domain. International religious freedom comes. Law and human rights. Trafficking in person policy and prevention. Then comes sustainable lands. <clears throat> and under this heading we have agricultural and rural development. Natural resources. Environmental policy and climate change. Urban and regional planning. Then comes thriving communities, contagious or infectious diseases, public health, HIV, AIDS, policy and prevention, substance abuse, education, treatment and prevention, educational administration, planning and policy, higher education administration, teaching English as a foreign language is also uh, applicable. So if you belong to any of these areas or your professional work is related to these areas, you are eligible to apply if you have an experience of 5 to 15 years in the relevant fields. 
so there is a clear cut note that plagiarism or mis uh, misrepresentation will lead to disqualification at any stage of the program so if your application has some kind of plagiarism or misrepresentation or you lie during the application process at any stage you will be disqualified the application is available at uscfp official website that we will see later all application materials including degrees transcripts cv and references must be submitted by tuesday july 20 2021 so july 20th is the last day to apply for this fellowship there is an interesting part here that uh, women people with disabilities and individuals from khyber pakhtunkhwa AJK, Gilgit Baltistan, Balochistan, Northern Sindh and Southern Punjab are highly encouraged to apply. So if you are a female or someone with a disability or uh, if you belong to these mentioned areas, you must apply for this fellowship as you have greater chances of getting selected. Alright, we can see that there is an important note at the end that applications must be submitted online paper copies will not be considered. Also TOEFL test is not required at the time of application as I told you earlier. Only successful candidates will be required to take TOEFL. So for any specific queries you can email them on this email humphrey at uscfp.org. So here is the official website that we uh, were talking about earlier. Uh, the website of uscfp and here we have opened the mid career professionals tab uh, and hubbard h humphrey fellowship is here and the deadline to apply is 20th july as i mentioned earlier so here is again the introduction of this program and uh, we can see that tentative announcement was made in april and the duration of the program will be 10 to 12 months and grantees uh, start studies in the fall next year so if you apply this year you are going to go to USA in 2022 so in the eligibility criteria we have already discussed that uh, the citizen should be uh, Pakistani uh, with the five uh, years to 15 years experience in the relevant fields also 16 years of education that I mentioned that if you have done BS honors then four-year program or uh, two years program then you need to have an MSc degree also the guarantee of re-employment upon return to Pakistan is required so that means that you need to have an no objection certificate from your employer uh, mentioning that uh, they will be guaranteeing the re-employment of yourself uh, upon your return to Pakistan Applicants must possess a high level of fluency in English. Successful candidates should be poised to assume leadership positions on their return to Pakistan. So the Humphrey program was initiated to honor the memory and accomplishments of the late senator and vice president Hubbard H. Humphrey. Fellows are selected through a competitive process based on their potential for leadership and commitment to public service in the public or private sector. So here we can see that uh, they have answered some uh, common queries. So let us first have a look at what is included in the Humphrey Fellowship Program. So as we know that it is a fully funded program so all the grants uh, will include tuition, airfare, textbooks, a living stipend and health insurance. So it will cover all your expenses in every aspect. If I am selected, when will I begin fellowship program in the US? The finalists will depart in fall next year. So if you get selected this year, you are going to travel to USA in 2022. Can I submit the paper application? No, only the online applications are accepted. How does the selection process work? So they have uh, explained it in detail. Round 1. All applications will be screened by USCFP staff for completeness and minimum qualifications. Round 2. Complete applications that meet the minimum qualifications will be evaluated according to a set of established criteria and shortlisted. Round 3. Virtual interviews of shortlisted applicants will be conducted in Islamabad between July to September. The interview panels are made up of both US and Pakistani citizens. And the final round, 
final candidates and alternates will be selected in October. Applicants will have become finalists or alternates will be notified by phone. Those who do not get selected will be notified by email. So the main criteria of selection comes uh, in your professional experience in what way you are benefiting your society and serving the public. So this is actually the main criteria as they are looking for the future leaders. Will I need to submit any additional documents if I become a finalist? Yes, finalists will be required to submit a medical history and examination form, scan copy of valid passport and no objection certificate from employer or government of Pakistan in case you are doing a, a job in public sector. So as I told you earlier, an NOC will be required from your employer mentioning that they are going to re-employ you on your return to Pakistan. Can I defer my Humphrey award to the following academic year? Deferment means to delay or postpone your uh, award. So this is not possible. Uh, you need to travel on the same year you get selected. If I decline Humphrey award and reapply, will my application be given preference? Although you are welcome to apply again, your application will not be given preferential treatment. So you will be equal to all other applicants in this regard. Can I take dependents? So here they have mentioned that uh, you, if you want to take uh, your family members or dependents with you to the US, then you need to show uh, that you have adequate uh, financial support to support your family members or dependents uh, during your stay in the USA. So they are going to award you all the funds which are uh, required for your individual journey but uh, they are not going to pay anything to your dependents or uh, your family. So you need to uh, manage the expenses of your dependents yourself if you want to take them along uh, to the US. So this is a great program for those professionals who are doing job uh, with an experience above five years in the relevant fields that we have discussed. This program is a great program and will be a learning experience for you. So you must consider applying for it and uh, keep following our YouTube channel as well as the Facebook page. I have mentioned all the links of my social media accounts in the description. So please keep us keep following us and do share this video with others.